Well, good evening, folks. It's good to be with you as online again on behalf of Churchtown Presbyterian Church. Uh, we welcome each and every one as you listen in, and we do pray that you're keeping well and God would bless uh, these moments together as we uh, will turn to his word later on as I'll sing a piece, and that God would richly bless each and every one of us as we give our time this evening. But before I do that, I just want to commit our time to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, we come nearing the end of this day and we do thank thee, Lord, for again every blessing. O oh God, we thank you that we can come to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And Father, we come to the one this evening that has bore our sin at the cross of Calvary. We thank thee, Lord, for the precious shed blood of Calvary. We thank thee, Lord, that you came and died, that we might have that peace and that joy that passes all understanding. And Father, we come this evening, we realise that in our very best efforts, O oh Lord, there are sinful rags in your sight. Father, we realise it's only through the shed blood that we can come to the cross of Calvary. Lord, we thank you for your death and we thank you again for all that you have done for us down through the years. And Father, for all the prayers that you've answered on our behalf. And Father, I come on behalf of Church Town for our members. I pray at this time for those that are unwell, O oh Lord, that you would uh, present yourself around them and, O oh God, that you would give them health and strength once again. Lord, for those in recent days who have lost loved ones, Father, again, that you would comfort, that your grace might be sufficient to meet their every need. And, O oh Lord, for those that are feeling lonely, and, Father, that you would meet them too. O oh God, for all that listen in today, with all of our problems, we come to you. We realise, Lord, we live in a sinful world. There's trials and there's troubles along the way. But, Father, your word tells us to cast all upon you, for you care for us. So this evening, Father, we come uh, just before you. We thank you again for all that you've done for us. We thank you, Lord, that you're still on the throne. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you're still in the soul-saving business. No, oh, Lord, we pray this evening that your word... Will the entrance of your word give us light? Know, God, that you would, as we open up the word this evening, that you would speak to every heart. Do us good. Bless us, Lord. Continue with us in these days. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want to sing a wee piece for you this evening. It's just entitled, Born Again. In John's Gospel, Nicodemus came to the Lord Jesus Christ. In the course of that conversation, uh, Lord Jesus Christ turned to Nicodemus and he said, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Nicodemus didn't understand what he meant, but simply in layman's terms is whenever you come to Christ as a sinner, whenever you confess your sin and you come to Christ and he is the only one that can forgive your sin, then thank God when you come to him, you're saved. And that's just simply what it means. To be born again is to be saved from your son. I trust the words will bless your heart this evening. Born again. I don't want the mansion here in this world of sin and shame. All I want to know is that I've been born again. I don't want wealth or fame. I don't care who knows my name. All I want to know is that I've been born again. And as I journey through this land, there's but one who understands all the troubles and the trials I go through. Yes, there's one way up above, looking down and and love and he tells me oh that I've been born again the 
Once my life was filled with sin And I had no peace within Then I read where ye must be born again So I knelt there in the aisle And God met me with a smile now I know, I know, oh, that I've been born again. And as I journey through this land, there's but one who understands all the troubles and the trials I go through. Yes, there's one way up above Looking down in grace and love And he tells me Oh, that I've been born again And as I journey through this land There's but one who understands all the troubles and the trials I go through. Yes, there's one way up above, looking down in grace and love, and He tells me all oh, that I I want to turn your attention this evening to just uh, two verses in the scripture and it's to be found in Malachi and the chapter 3. Malachi chapter 3 uh, beginning to read at verse 6, 6 and 7. This is the word of the Lord. I the Lord do not change, so you the descendants of Jacob are not destroyed. Ever since the time of your ancestors you have turned away from my degrees and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, saith the Lord Almighty. But you ask, how are we to return? You and I live in an ever-changing world. I believe this world uh, is growing old. It's waxing old. Uh, the sun itself will grow dim with age. Uh, I believe that all that we, when we look around, all we see uh, is decay upon our land. And uh, if the last few months is to teach us anything, it is definitely how things very much change. In Matthew's Gospel, in chapter 24, 35, this is what the word of the Lord says. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. We all we like to sing that lovely hymn, All may change, but Jesus never Glory to his name. Things certainly will change. People change. How many times have uh, we been let down? How many times have we uh, changed our mind and let people down? It happens day and daily. And the psalmist very much says these words in Psalm 118 and verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. You see, man will fail. And all of our best efforts and all our good intentions, we change because man will fail each other. But here's one that never changes. It is the Lord Jesus Christ. And in Hebrews in the chapter 13 and verse 8, it simply says these words. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. And thank God Although everything we see around us change, man changes. But when you come to the scripture, we can put our full weight of confidence in this year that the Lord Jesus Christ never changes. So whenever God's great plan of salvation came 
and Christ came to this uh, sin-cursed world and as he walked through this scene of time and all the abuse that he would have taken from man and all the mockery as he lived in this scene of time, the Lord Jesus Christ could have changed his mind, but he was steadfastly toward heaven. His eyes was fixed on the centre cross of Calvary. And that great plan of salvation was for you and for me, that he would die that we might have that forgiveness of sins. He could have changed his mind, but because of his great love for you and I, thank God he paid the price that we might go free. And he is the same God as he was yesterday. He's the same God today and he'll be the same God forevermore. So child of God, be confident of this one thing. The God that saved you yesterday is the God that will keep you today and is the God that will keep you tomorrow and forevermore. We so many times uh, get downhearted and we come many times and we, we fail the Lord Jesus Christ. But my friend, God doesn't hold us to account because our sins are underneath the precious blood of Christ. And thank God he changes not his Mind toward you and me changes not because he loved us yesterday. He loves us the same today and thank God he loves us forevermore. And whenever we put our confidence and our weight upon him and the Bible says underneath are the everlasting arms of Christ. So today I would just say be confident in him. If you feel that you've gone maybe astray, you're, you're not in the place with the Lord Jesus Christ as you once were, my friend, be confident of this, that Christ still loves you. And thank God he's still the God that forgives sin. Will you come afresh to him today? For he is the same God as yesterday, today, and thank God forevermore. The one that loves you so much, the one that gave us life, give that ransom, that you might go free and that I might go free. And thank God, listen, he never changes. And I trust today that you will fall upon his mercy in you. If you are listening today and you're not saved, your sins are not forgiven, then I trust that you will call upon him because I, the Lord, change not. That's what his word says. I, the Lord, change not. He's a God that loved us. That's why he came. And thank God he came that you might have forgiveness through him. I pray today that you'll, as you have listened to the song, as you've listened to the words of scripture, that the spirit of God might uh, just pierce your heart and that you might come to him and that you might have that forgiveness that is only to be found in and through the Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless the words to your heart. Read the verse for yourself. I, the Lord, do not change. And thank God neither he does. He's a God that will love you even on to the very end. God bless you. Amen.